Good afternoon. It's always difficult to call your attention during the afternoon, um, but I hope you'll bear with me. I don't have any slides. My perspective is slightly different. It's, it, to me, the whole business is not just on CSR. CSR, CSR is one aspect. And in the last, say, decade, two decades, it has, it, it has really moved up the scale of blind life. Right? But how much you can do depends really on the size of your company, what kind of earnings you have, and what amount of money you can afford to do all the things that are good that is required on the same side. But whatever you, whatever you do, whatever you do, in terms of responsible management, how do you have a responsible management You have to go back to the board. You have to have a responsible board. To start off with. And if you look at the board, who makes the makes up the board? It's your directors. So that's where you have to, to really uh, start to look and ensure that your board of directors have the right skill, the right kind of training, the integrity, etc., in order for the board to lead the management in its effort to become responsible. So you have to start with the board being responsible itself. And who make up the management? Management, we call it the C-suite, CEO, CFOs. And they have, they have set responsibilities already. And one of the responsibilities, in fact, is to ensure diversity uh, in, in the organization. Diversity not in terms of skills, but today I think it's important for them to look at gender diversity as well. And then has moved up the scale onto the board level. And you hear every day uh, there's discussions, there's uh, comments about the need to have the gender diversity in the board levels. And that is a big move at the moment. In fact, uh, as you know, last year the, our prime minister said that 30% of uh, women in decision making responsible management and boards should be made up of 30% in the next five years. But where, where are they? So there's a big responsibility to bring up the women to the, to the level where they can now assume position at boards. And this is the responsibility of business itself. If business do not do something now Inevitably, like Europe, the government will step in to legislate. And that's something that we don't want to see. So, you come back to the board, as I, as I say, what uh, management. I have looked at, uh, I, for many years, I was on the management side, uh, how to operate responsibly. Uh, I was working for Shell, it's a, it's a multinational. And it's, you don't have to talk to them, you, have to, you don't have to teach them about CSR. And because they are large organizations, and they, they can afford it, so they can have a proper organization to pay attention to this safety, all the things that are required to be done today. In fact, they have done it many, many years before anybody else. So you have to look at your management. How can your management be, be responsible? You have to look after you have to look after them. You have to make sure that they have the proper training. That one of the important things which I I feel that in this country uh, companies do not really pay attention to is in terms of succession and training. This is a big factor if you want to have responsible people in your organization, in your management. You have to pay a lot of attention. People say it's expensive. Yes, it is expensive, but you don't have to do the scale of shell, but you can start, and the important thing is to start somewhere. So, when you talk about CAR, CSR, you know, it's, um, I think there's a, it's a very wide subject, and there are many, many things. So you have to then prioritize uh, the kind of funding that you have, right? What should be 
your first attention in terms of what is required under the CSR. So you have you have to really prioritize and allocate the funds accordingly. You, you, I, I doubt very much that anyone can do all that is required. You talk about the responsible management. You talk about Toyota. Look at the, the problem that they have. And then it goes back to the management. You see? They they became a, a non, non shaman about it. And they, they forgot about it. The small things, the important things. And as a result, bang, you have you have a, a situation and it nearly ruined it. And the management just couldn't react fast enough to to uh, to arrest the deteriorating uh, Position so I go back to to, to, to read back to, to the board and board directors. One of the reasons why I started this Malaysia Airlines and Corporate Directors is to bring the, the directors together. Recently, you, you must have all read in, in the papers about the Malaysian Court of Public Governance 2012. It's a very important document, it's got a lot of things in it. But, how many organizations, in fact, look at the management and say, so we need the management, CEO, CFO, COO, company secretaries, to really uh, be fully aware and understand what the, the, the code is all about. But it's not. The attention is paid to directors level. Right? So this is some of the efforts that we are doing now say that so you must not disregard. They play a very important role. They, again, coming back to being responsible. That you have to take care of it and arrange for exposure, for training, so that they are completely in the know because they need to advise the board. And it's not the other way. Because the board, the directors go there and they, they Listen to, to them. But what is important is people at the management level who understand this and they can watch the various uh, statements of the to make sure that they conform in terms of corporate governance. So I think to the role uh, to, to make them more responsible if they are already <laughs> responsible is are these areas outside the, the CSR? I don't deny CSR is important. We used to talk about welfare. Yeah? The word was welfare, and then slowly it developed into become a corporate responsibility. It's, 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 it's a fantastic uh, uh, progress that we have made in terms of this. So I, I would be very happy uh, to answer any questions that you have, in particular in regard to the rates. Get the right skills, the right people, the integrity, everything onto your board so that they can act responsibly and to ensure that your management can also act responsibly. Thank you very much.